Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. You may now be seated. Good afternoon. We are gathered here for the launching of Dongfang Motors in the Philippines. To formally begin our program and to deliver his welcome remarks, we call on the former governor of Ilocos Sur and chairman of Legado Motors Incorporated, Mr. Luis Chavit Singson. To His Excellency, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., and all our esteemed guests, welcome and mabuhay. Today, Legado Motors is privileged to announce a strong collaboration with Dongfeng Motors in achieving the commitment for economically smooth and environmentally efficient travel for the Filipino people. Dongpeng brings to our country its automobile expertise with partnership from Honda, Porsche of Europe, and Renault, and Daewoo cars. While we experience the headaches in fluctuating fuel costs, the International Energy Agency reported 14% increase in global electric vehicle sales in 2022. With an estimated 35% rise projected for 2023 as such, there is definitely a demand for electric mobility. At Legado Motors, we lead the change by introducing top quality Chinese electric hybrid vehicles to the Philippines. The goal is accessibility, affordability, and sustainability. I'm pleased to announce the arrival of Dongpen's stunning lineup, starting with Alus Huge, Nanobox, and Porting Friday. These vehicles are not just visually captivating but also showcase incredible features designed to deliver outstanding performance. They embody sustainability, which truly represent a win-win spot for motorists and in the environment. In 2017, LTFRB announced the traditional jeepney pace out. Until now, the PUB modernization program has not been implemented due to lack of financial support. This year, we are happy to announce that the LCS group and partners will finance and provide electric gypsies to rent to own, uh, rent to own partnership with LGUs, no down payment easy installment for the economic acceleration of the BBM administration. As an exciting step toward for Legado Motors, we continue with the vision and mission for a greener future, ensuring a better tomorrow for generations to come. Once again, I thank you. I thank our both district distributors, steam guests, and especially 
the presence of our President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Your support and recognition has made this day possible. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Singson. And now, we call on the Deputy CEO of Legato Motors Incorporated, Mr. Brennan Lim, to give us a message, which shall then be followed by an audiovisual presentation. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brennan Lim, Deputy CEO of Legado Motors, Inc. Uh, before anything else, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank our special guest, His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, since its inception more than 50 years ago, Dongfeng Motor has gained recognition for producing commercial vehicles, including trucks, buses, SUVs, MTVs, and mini CVs, thereby becoming a leader in the Chinese automotive industry and one of the big four automobile manufacturers in China. Recently, Dongfeng has produced best-in-class new energy vehicles, including natural gas, hybrid, and all-electric vehicles, providing customers with a wide variety of options that deliver lower carbon emissions in addition to superior performance. Meanwhile, Legado Motors Inc., which was founded in 2018 and is headed by visionary Governor Chavit Singson, is a future forward, proudly Filipino owned company that is at the forefront of bringing sustainable transportation solutions to the local market. With a mission to create a positive impact on the environment and the economy, Legado Motors is paving the way for Filipino drivers to gain access to affordable, environmentally aware mobility solutions that will reduce carbon emissions and counter increasing oil prices. Through this partnership, each brand is poised to further enhance their competitive positions in the new energy vehicle market. Tonight, uh, this afternoon, you will witness the introduction of three new vehicles that will change the game for Filipino drivers and allow them to truly drive their dreams thanks to its sleek design, impressive features, and exceptional performance. In achieving this dream, allow me to express my deep gratitude to our co-distributors, uh, Mr. Giovanni Frias, VP of Legado Motors, with 25 years of experience in the auto industry. Mr. Frias has the deep understanding and knowledge to successfully bring Dongfeng's vehicles into the country. Dr. Jose and Dr. Juanita Chua of Dream Car Unlimited, armed with their passion for vehicles and thorough knowledge of the latest in innovation and technology, possess a keen eye for finding vehicles that will resonate with the market. And finally, Ms. Rachel Villanueva, as president of Autoflare Corporation, Ms. Villanueva has seamlessly transitioned from the entertainment industry to the automobile industry, thanks to a strong sales background, which has allowed her to contribute significantly to the sector. Together with Ms. Villanueva is Mr. Dexter Ko, a veteran with nearly two decades of experience that includes owning and managing multiple dealerships across the Philippines. Mr. Ko has established himself as one of the top dealership groups in the country. With the combined passion, expertise, and commitment of our co-distributors, I am optimistic for the exciting future of Dongfeng Motors and Legado Motors in the Philippines. And of course, do enjoy the rest of the afternoon's event and allow me to introduce a short AVP that shows more of what we have in store for you. Thank you once again and have a great afternoon. At, Le At Legato Motors, we're committed to shaping the future of transportation. Founded by visionary Chavit Singson, we're a Filipino-owned company leading in sustainable mobility. Our focus is on introducing high-quality Chinese electric vehicles to revolutionize the Philippine automotive industry, making daily mobility more affordable and eco-friendly. Dongfeng Motors, a prominent Chinese auto group with over 50 years of industry leadership, is expanding from commercial to passenger vehicles, including SUVs and new energy options demonstrating a commitment to reliable and valuable product solutions. Together, Legado Motors and Dongfeng Motors are driving innovation in the EV market, working towards reduced emissions and a more competitive future. Ladies and gentlemen, may we call back former Governor Luis Chavit Singson to introduce our guest of honor.
Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Thank you very much, uh, the former governor of Ilocos Sur, Manung uh, Chavit Singson, and uh, the chairman now of Legado Motors, who have gone into partner. Please, uh, please take a seat. Who have gone into partnership with Dong Feng on this uh, program of importation and uh, uh, distribution of uh, the uh, new uh, vehicles, hybrid and electric vehicles from Dong Feng. Uh, Mr. Brennan S. Lim, the Deputy CEO of the uh, Legado Motors Inc., fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, we move closer to the vision of building a smarter and greener future as we convene for the launching of Dongfeng Motors here in the Philippines. I convey my gratitude to the Legado Motors Incorporated for partnering with Dongfeng Motors in importing some of its electric vehicle models to the Philippines and offering them to the local market. We heartily welcome your efforts to help us actualize our goal to increase the use of electric vehicles in our transportation sector. Considering our continued dependence on imported fuels and the volatility of oil products in the world market, it is only sensible that we encourage the shift to electric vehicles. We not only get savings in fuel and gas, but also significantly lessen our greenhouse gas emissions and champion sustainability in our day-to-day -day activities. Owning an electric vehicle here in the Philippines also confers a wide range of in incentives and advantage. Aside from having priority in the registration and renewal of registration of vehicles at the Land Transportation Office, owners will also get to enjoy exemption from the number coding schemes, amongst others. It is important to note that the, promote, the promotion of the use of electric vehicles is among the measures of the government to uphold our country's commitment under the Paris Agreement. Under this treaty, we pledge to a projected greenhouse gas emissions reduction and avoidance of 75% for 2020 to 2030 in agriculture, waste, industry, transport, and energy. In the Philippines, the transportation sector is the largest source of energy-related greenhouse gas emissions. So, if we aim to fulfill our pledge to the Paris Agreement, we need to boost the share of electric vehicles in the total projected vehicle fleet nationwide. The government aims to increase the share of electric vehicles to 10% or hopefully 50% by 2040. As of late 2020, there are just around 8,800 electric vehicles in the country. So to boost this number, we are working on the gradual shift to electric vehicles for public transportation. Currently, we are implementing the PUV modernization program. This entitles beneficiaries to special loan facilities and equity subsidies for the acquisition of electric vehicles. To date, nearly 400 electric public utility vehicles are plying 29 routes nationwide, bringing safe, modern, comfortable, and green transportation to the masses. In Davao City, over 300 electric buses have been deployed to pioneer an integrated, sustainable urban transport system. The Department of Transportation and the United Nations Development Program have also given electric public utility vehicles under its low carbon urban transport project. More cities and urban centers are following suit. Now, some are testing the viability of electric vehicles and electric public transportation for their local needs and conditions. So it's my firm belief that these endeavors will not only gain momentum, but also wider adoption moving forward as our people realize the benefits of these vehicles in their communities. So I enjoin the public 
to support the programs and policies of government, as well as opt for alternative or renewable sources of energy. Let me also encourage the private sector to participate in our efforts to make the Philippines a part of the global chain of electric vehicles by investing in manufacturing facilities in our country. Strive with us as we generate more employment opportunities, enrich our people's quality of life, and fostering more environmentally friendly communities. In return, we offer fiscal incentives, such as the income tax holiday and duty exemption of capital equipment, raw materials, and spare parts used in electric vehicles. So let me affirm once more, this administration's commitment to support the Legado Motors Incorporated and its key partners in this very important endeavor. Let us harmonize all our efforts as I'm confident that we will win the race for a more sustainable and energy secure future. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon po. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. May we invite the President to kindly proceed to the designated area and press the button to officially launch Dongfang Motors in the Philippines. Ready, Mr. President? At the count of three. One, two, three. Gentlemen, introducing the Dongfang Nano Box, Aeolus Huge, and Fourth in Friday. Thank you, Mr. President, and congratulations to Legado Motors Incorporated for the successful launch of Dongfang Motors.
may we request the president to kindly grant us a group photo with all of our guests. Ready? Please smile at the camera. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. That concludes our program. Thank you, Mr. President, for gracing the launching of Dongfeng Motors in the Philippines. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr.